Welcome honor guests to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness and this is a comment video. All right, let's get started because it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm up for some reason. I don't know. I went to the gas station and got me a juice and now I'm up talking to y'all. Just it's whatever now in my life. All right, Diane says, I think Mason is working with Jerry Jacks. My window's open so you may hear cars. I think Mason is working with Jerry Jacks and Alex. Oh, that's a good idea. We never thought to put Jerry Jacks in as maybe the Paw Tuck boss or in this at all. And I think the reason why we dismissed it is because we know that his brother Jacks probably isn't going to be able to return. But it's still it's still a possibility. Uh, Joss could deal with him. You know, Joss and Dex, that's a good idea, uh, Diane. I wouldn't mind to see Jerry again. Cindice is next and says... I, it never occurred to me that Valentine might be in cahoots with Austin and Mason, but it could, yeah, he could be, but it could be maybe under some kind of posthumous mind control by Victor. Oh, that's interesting. Related to the items inherited after Victor died, there's a relationship between the WSB and Pikeman and Victor used to head the WSB, yeah, and both Valentine and Anna were WSB agents, and Valentine still has associations with Pikeman. Good call. Yeah, I mean, it's not, the mind control thing never even dawned on me, because Valentine is acting, today's episode, he was really creepy. Handsome, but very creepy. The way he was looking at Anna, the way he was speaking with her, it's like he's a totally different person, for real. And I'm not sure... If something happened on that island, um, I'm not talking about when he went with Laura. I'm talking about Greenland. So maybe something happened. You know, he had that drug put in him. Maybe they're going to do something with that. I have no idea. But he is acting so freaking creepy. And I want them to hurry up and get to the bottom of this because I don't like his attitude right now. Eileen C. says, you're right. Yeah, this Molly doesn't fit at all. She doesn't. I just don't. I don't know. I really just can't with this Molly. Uh oh. Uh, a writer for the man, Penny. I'm surprised, Penny. I thought you would be on our side with this. You don't agree how horrible she is. Penny says, I wish everybody would stop bragging on Molly. They got somebody to fill in for the original. She doesn't look that old to me. I think she does a good job. Can't have perfection besides that. Her storyline isn't that interesting. I think because for a lot of us long-term GH fans, she's too, she doesn't look too old. I think for her to be 40, she looks great for her age. She doesn't look 40, but she is too old to be playing that role. I'm sorry. She just is. And I think it's just, she's, it's horrible. She's portraying Molly. It's just horrible. And yeah, they got somebody to play the role, but I don't understand why we couldn't keep the one we had before her because she was great. We accepted her just fine because she was age appropriate. It just, she just fit the role better. That's all, Penny. And then I got riled up because the brother told us that she was here to stay and to get over it. Like, that's just not how soaps work. And I forgot to put the comment line up. I have to dig it up and put it back up on the screen. That's just not how soaps work. I've seen many characters come. Look at look how they doing Sprina. Like, if people complain enough and um, it's a couple of articles floating out there now, nobody. It's not just our group. It's not just our little 1,600 people that don't like this lady. It's... And it's not personal. We just don't. Let me stop saying we don't like the lady. We don't know this lady. I'm sure she's a fine human being. But as for being our Molly Davis, she's just not it. Especially for us long-term fans. And when we see all of the Davis women together, she's just, it just doesn't fit. And her standing next to Jordan, she looks like a friend of Jordan's, not our daughter-in-law. I'm not going to rant on it, but I just... I don't like I just don't like it um Sandy Moon says Sonny needs Jason because Dex is sorry he still has skills yeah skills to learn Jordan just can't stay away from Curtis thanks for the spoilers bareness I know she still loves Curtis but where is Zeke where is he at they haven't shown him in a minute Sabrina says, hi, Baroness. Thanks for the spoilers. Y'all welcome. She says, I've tried, but I just, see, I just can't with the new Molly and Christina. Oh, you don't like the new Christina? Oh, I'm, listen, I'm warming up to the new Christina. She says, still too many open storylines with no end in sight. 
with any of them, just my thoughts. You don't see the end. And I'm telling y'all, I do. I see the, the light at the end of the tunnel with the pikeman paw tug. And um, oh, what the hell else are we waiting to wrap up? And woo, the Curtis, the what's going on at the club. I think the new writers are just trying. They're trying to clean up what the last writers were dragging out. I don't think the writers, the last writers had any idea how they were going to end it. Cindis is back and says Dex really is terrible at surveillance. Michael could tell the year that he was stalking, telling Austin. <sighs> Dex today, I thought it was cute. I'm not going to lie. When he grabbed Joss and kissed her because, and Betty, boy, that Betty is something else. But the more I look at her, the more I would, I would, I, I would take her more as Molly. But she was something else at the pool. Now, why would you talk to that man like that? You never talk to somebody like that that's getting you something to eat, stupid. Okay. Especially and you ordered a Bloody Mary. You could put all kinds of, you could have all kinds of stuff in the Bloody Mary. <laughs> it's so thick. Um, I thought it was cute when he grabbed Josta. You know, she was like getting Betty was like, get a room. I, she is something else. Man, she don't even try to hide her horribleness. Lisa Wild says, I would like to see Jordan Day. Curtis is, okay, physical therapist. I hope Willow has a good advice for Christina. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. You sound rested. Yeah, I, you know what? When I start talking to y'all, no matter how I feel, I perk up. I'm not going to lie. Like now, nah, like I said, it's like it's one in the morning and, you know, I'm talking to y'all like me on the phone or something. So y'all have no idea how much joy these comments bring me because I don't have anybody to talk to about myself like I said other than my mom and she's 76 and sometimes she'll watch them sometimes she won't and then by the time she do watch them she'll be like that episodes done pass and I'm like oh mom I talked about this <laughs> like I don't you know so no y'all bring me so much joy honey so much joy when we talk about these stories um let's see who is next CT Traveler. Oh, she says, good to hear your voice. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. Linda White. Oh, Linda White probably got something to say. She says, Cyrus is Sasha and Dex's son. Now, you play too much. See what I'm telling I Linda White? Because, now, Linda White, I'm not backing you up on this. <laughs> but I'll accept your theory. But I don't think that's really possible, honey, because of the age Sasha and Dex the age it's no way she could be his mom but one more time she's she says it again she says uh this side oh hold on it's sasha's spot. oh yes i think it's a repeat i'm sorry it's she said the same thing i just duplicated it um hey um anetta anetta says hey bbg and hands and roosters i really need a new molly and tracy needs to go home <laughs> she has such she's such a wet mess i love christina's green outfit me too Finally, I hope Nina and Valentine get back together. Yes, right after Sonny and Carly. <laughs> she says, come on and bring back some of the old timers. I need some excitement. Sick of Cody not being upfront about. Yeah, Gladys, such a bore. I love the hen house and the comments. Oh, we love you too. Um, It's time. It's time for Cody to tell the truth about him being Mac's son and tell everybody what Gladys is doing. I know he's not telling about Miss Wu and the whole thing because he's been working for her and he may get in trouble. We have to keep that in mind. But he did tell Dante. So it must be a way that maybe they can put him in undercover so he won't be in trouble, you know, once everything comes down. I'm really starting to enjoy Tracy. Today's episode with Olivia and Ned was kind of emotional. I really didn't quite understand why she got upset. I really wasn't. I was watching it, but I wasn't paying too close attention to the song. So I think I'm going to have to go back and watch it or either go to Soap Hub or um, our girl on Soap Dirt. Maybe she'll break it down and see why Olivia, or if y'all know why Olivia got so upset about the song, I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments because I didn't get it because I don't like to hear Ned sing. Okay, let me stop lying. I fast forwarded. When I start <laughs> when he started singing, I fast forwarded like a little bit. But then I stopped when I saw how upset Olivia emotional she was getting. So just it'll just give us something to talk about shit. Put it in the comments why was Olivia getting upset? Because I Ned can't sing. I just didn't want to I didn't feel like sitting through it. 
Angela Johnson says, Beardness, I agree about Bill Porter. He was only on the show Pose. And I meant that the first Molly, but I meant the Molly cast first was the best so far. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, the one with the darker hair. She was best and she favored the rest of the Davis girls. Yeah, Billy Porter was on that successful show Pose and he was also the fairy godmother in that remake of Cinderella and he's done so he's done a lot of he's known mostly for Pose because my sister loved that show but he was also on a lot of other things in between Pose during Pose he played the fairy godmother on the Cinderella thing that's a check what I'm saying is why aren't these people in bed why did he invest like I can't imagine having one, like I said, for one thing, a hundred thousand dollars for doing one thing, and then I have other things that's bringing me more hundreds of thousands of dollars. That first hundred thousand dollars that I get, or my first big check, I'm gonna be able to live. Okay, I know inflation, I know eggs is five million dollars a yolk, but I'm gonna buy a chicken, I'm gonna get a farm, I'm going to figure it out. I'm not going to. I'll tell you what, give me half of that, okay? $50,000, I won't be no trouble to the, you won't hear from me. People just have to figure it out. And with $100,000 one time, I could figure it out. Imagine what I could do with $100,000 as many times as he probably done had his hands on it. I can't sympathize with people like that. You know, I'm glad that he was, because he came from, you know, he came from where I'm at. So I'm glad that he was able to experience ball gowns, red carpets, diamonds, and furs and pearls. But sir, ma'am, why didn't you invest? Why didn't you fix it? Like a lot of people, Oprah Winfrey got all the land, all the farms. The Carters, Beyonce and them, they bought land. You just got to figure it out. You just got to figure it out. And no matter what he puts on at the end of the day, he's still male-minded. And don't come for me in the comments. You you know, they can make moves differently. So I don't understand why he has to sell his home. That's all I'm saying. And I hope that in the sale of this home, the money that he gets from this, he'll, you know, buy a farm, buy a chicken. So he won't have to go through this anymore because he's older than me. And it's really hard. You know, at our times of lives at older to try to rebuild, reset, and restart. Shoot, I couldn't imagine. I'm so tired of pushing the reset button on myself. I'm surprised it ain't broke. Sabrina Hughes says, bearing his hands and roosters. So Portia is okay with Dex, who works for Sonny, but can't stand Spencer, who is Sonny's nephew. I can't wait until she falls on her face and Spencer will be the one she has to turn to for help. I guess she really doesn't care one way or another about Dex because he's not dating her daughter. And Dex really honestly hasn't gotten Joss in any trouble. If anything, Dex is always saving Joss. So Dex really isn't a problem. I think, I mean, I, you got to remember Curtis did get shot in the vicinity of where Sonny was. So I do see see it from Portia's point of view, but I can't wait till she comes crashing down too. A part of me can't wait, but then another part of me wants her and Curtis to work it out and be together because they are meant for each other with their whiny selves. I don't know who else would tolerate either one of them because I certainly don't want Jordan back with him. Okay, you guys, well, that's it. It was kind of short. Like I said, it's one in the morning. I really just wanted to talk to y'all, but thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. Please hit the like before you leave and I'll catch you in the comments. (laughs) 